Here's a few more tricks with dithering in GIMP. It involves masking, so to follow along you'll need two passes, one with lighting and one with no lighting. To create the pass with no lighting, just remove all your lights and save a render. To set up for this, you'll need to create a palette of two colours, black and white. To do this, open up GIMP and go to Image, Mode and click Indexed. Click this custom palette icon, then this icon in the corner of that drop down. This opens up the palettes dialog. This is a roundabout way to do that, but it'll help you to memorize this now. Then create a new palette. Drag black and white into the palette and click save. That's only just the setup. Let's fake some lighting from behind. Open your dark and light images as layers with the lighter layer on top. Right click the top layer and add a layer mask. If you paint this layer in black and white, you'll see that it darkens and lightens the image based on how dark your layers are. This looks okay, but we want something that conforms to the pixel art style. Select your background colour with the Select by Colour tool. Create a new layer completely in black and fill your selection in white. Blur this layer as much as you want to let the light shine through. Now repeat the stages you took earlier to get the index colour conversion window up. Make sure the dithering is set to positioned and click convert. Now select and copy the white part of your image and undo until the colour is back to normal. You can delete your black and white layer now too. Paste in the white selection to a new layer and select it again. The layer itself isn't important so you can hide it. What is important is the selection. Go to your mask and invert your selection, then fill it with black. And then, uh, that's the result. Wow, that's actually quite disappointing. I mean, uh, I'm sure you learned something in the process, but, um... <laughs> Look, if I were coming up with miracles every week,